outside. I feel a breeze. So nice out today. Yeah. I love it. See what they got out here. If we're gonna get a truck, I want a truck like that. <laughs> you can't afford a truck like that. That's so cool. That's that's worth more than both of our houses. Wow, I was wondering where the bathroom was. It does. It's actually got a toilet right there. <laughs> Just have to be somewhere with a bathhouse. Oh my word. It has an outdoor shower. Yeah, it's got an outdoor shower, so you really don't need anything. You can do some boondocking in this. It's cool. Tiny little thing. Size too. So you think this That's a big bed. That's king size. Yeah. This has got some potential. I like it. For a it's this tiny little motorhome. Twenty twenty. This is twenty twenty. A little A-frame. It's cute. It is cute. I mean, like, this is like a little clubhouse. Love the big window. That big window definitely is cool. That's where the dinette would be. Which also can be a bed. And I'm guessing that this turns up, this folds up into a couch. Probably. And that's the reason why the headroom is right there. So that when you turn it into a couch, you can sit there without... Bonking your head. You know, without bonking your head against the thing. So that's pretty cool. This has got a lot of the same design, except this one doesn't have a uh, the little peninsula there. Two full bathrooms. It's got two full bathrooms. It has two full bathrooms. And it's got bunks. Yep. It's got bunks for the kids. Entertainment area. It's kind of dark in here. But king size bed. Are you safe? Yeah, it's got the shower in here. Pedal flush toilet. And the same metal work yeah. we have in our bathroom at home. Yep. <laughs> and then there's this bathroom over here. But look here. here, there's two full baths. Yeah, two showers. Wow. That's nice. That's a lot. That's a big plus. Big plus. So then now you're saying this one's your favorite. I like this a lot. But I, you lose the seating area that you had in the other one, which I like a lot too. So that's yeah, but you guys still got a drop down bed. But the second bathroom, that's tough. Yeah, that's the exact same metal work we have in our house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would probably have picked this one. Okay. I, this door is just not right. I mean, look at me. I can't. If I go straight through here, I am touching on both sides. This is a very tiny door. What two hundred thousand? <laughs> nice. It's big. I like the way this is done. Oh, where well, that slides out. Big entertainment center. Washer dryer in there. Bathroom, half bath. Half bath. I like that. Mm -hmm. Another TV in here. Lots of closet space. A lot of things to... Nice bathroom. Got a shower right there. How many TVs you need? 
There's never enough. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> wow. King size bed. Washer dryer. And look at this. I like it when the bed is sideways like this because it gives you more walking space. And you can tell this is so well constructed. Yeah, Jayco's got some good stuff. The only thing about this is that's the only bathroom. Now, granted, that's a really impressive bathroom. Yeah. Really impressive. And double sinks. Yeah. Which is what you love. With a nice shower. Mm -hmm. And wash and dry hookup. Huge closet. Well, you realize too that this is not a bunkhouse, so it's not like there'd be anybody else in here. I knew I would like this one. But and another thing too is that it's it's not like the other ones where you go through the bathroom to get to the bedroom. You go through the bedroom to get to the bathroom. I like this. This is a front living area. But see, this is where your kids would end up. Who says anything about them? Look at that screen. Good night. But I love this, and and the other good thing is. Well, I just about fell. What's the other good thing about this? I love how this is laid out. What, the, uh, the kitchen. kitchen? It's like your alternate. It's got two sinks. It's got a... This would be like where the kids got ready. Yeah, it's got a little sink there. And it's got a big like sink over probably, here. Like I would probably, to be honest, I would have like a dorm fridge right here. Not a laundry. Yeah. It's a dishwasher. A dishwasher. Well... But I would probably put their toothbrushes and stuff under there and hang them here. <laughs> Let them get ready out here instead mm -hmm. of. I'm serious. Instead of clogging up our. I love bathroom. this. I love this one. This is amazing. Yeah. Tired yet? Okay. Look at that. This is a Grand Design Solitude. Love it. This is one of those kind. Of, oh, this is the top kitchen. Kind of it's got this kitchen up top. Grand Design Solitude. Yeah. Like little trays. Little trays. Mm, big kitchen up there. Residential fridge. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, they did? Yeah. Oh, my. Look. Space for all the appliances. Oh, your kitchen gadgets, you mean? Yeah. What? Like. Mm-hmm. You might be able to fit your kitchen gadgets in there. Just might. Mm -hmm. uh. ah. Double sinks. I know that's a plus for you. Love it. Full size shower. And I like it when the bed's sideways. Washer and dryer hookup. Washer dryer hookup. Entertainment center. I don't know. This is big huge closet. Pretty amazing. Yeah. It's a two for you know, no. It's a one for two. It's not a family one. No, you just have to have your kids camp out in the living room. You just have to have your kids camp outside. This is amazing. So what tents are for? I like this. It's a huge window. Outdoor kitchen. I don't think the kids would hate this. 
Really? I mean, just, I mean, it's not a very big bunk room. But it's something that... It gives them a little bit of a space, yes. And the, the bed here is big. Yeah, but... And it's more open than what they have. Yeah. And it's pretty wide space. It's got the uh, U-shaped dinette. Kitchen. Typical grand design bedroom. Typical grand design bedroom. Yeah. Which is nice. Yeah, I mean, you can't you can't complain about grand design now. Lisa got excited about this one. It's a she got that it's a travel trailer. It's not the model that I go nuts over though. It's not the model that you go nuts over, but uh, I like the one that's got the fireplace right here and the opposing couches. Yeah. I like this. I mean, this is it's still fantastic, but plenty of seating. That's what I like, and you lose that when you go with a bunk room. Yeah, but you know, you just have a different seating. Love the motion lights in the pantry. And this sink's big enough to set a curling iron or something down on. It is. Let me get out of your way. But you see, it's kind of like got a uh, fifth wheel floor plan, but it's uh, but it's a travel trailer. Actually, I really like this. Okay. I I think this is a great bunker. The bunker is fantastic. It's a very big. Yeah living area which <laughs> funny way of uh combining the living and dining area but i like it i don't mind that i mean well usually what do we do when we are eating at home as a family yeah you're putting a movie usually on. got a movie going on and, and it's I like got the bunk area. it's got a nice bunk area yeah and, and, it, and it's got a sliding door that closes so they've got their own designated space nice wardrobe area got their own window oh, it's pretty basic otherwise let me let you get up there yeah well I don't know this bathroom's kind of pretty cool Nice storage area, wardrobe for the bedroom. And it's still got enough space to, even with the bed down, to walk through here. But that is that is good. I like that. Yeah, this is good. I like this one. And it's got a place for a TV in here. I like this. This is good. I like open range. Low price too. Yeah, not bad. Especially for a fifth wheel. With an outdoor kitchen. Yeah. And the sink's actually got a drain. 
That's cool. I thought this one was pretty cool. It's got a pop top. A pop top van. It's got your basic necessities. A little tiny kitchen. This turns into a bed. It's a sofa, but it's also got this loft bed area. So you got a place to sleep up here. Chair swivels. And that's a step. <laughs> but it's got a lot of cargo room too. Check this out. A lot of cargo space back here too. Yeah, that's pretty neat. And it's got look at that ladder. Pretty cool. Yeah. This one's neat. Was a good RV show. Yeah, it's a lot different. We had fun. Met a lot of nice people. We sure did. It was great. Yeah. Super nice people. What are you doing? I'm getting us some dinner. What are you doing? Well, we said we couldn't be this close and not go to our place. <laughs> You're gonna fit in there? I don't know that. How am I? gonna probably put the curb. Well I don't think it's gonna make it. And I'll back up.